global coronavirus update with Dr. Aqua Thompson and Tuba, certified expert in global health. In our second or by annual, by weekly meeting with the Director General of WHO today, the head of Pfizer was part of the meeting or the briefing, and Dr. Seth Beckley of COVAX Initiative was also part of the meeting, and Henrietta Ford represented UNICEF. And Pfizer made it clear that they will be able to provide the many doses of vaccines which they have contracted with the WHO for middle and low income countries. And Henrietta Ford actually has told the people and the world that UNICEF, with experience, with the resources over the years, working in middle and low income countries and countries of the world in vaccination of children, is already working with governments in middle and low income countries to put in place, to put in place the infrastructure and to train personnel and get them ready to receive the vaccines which are about to be rolled out in lower middle income countries in Asia, in Eastern Europe, in Africa, in other parts, South America, or in yeah, South America and other parts of the world. It is very clear as Dr. Tedro says that America benefits from being part of the World Health Organization as he welcomed the United States back to the World Health body assuring America that their issues will be addressed. The low and middle income countries are getting set to begin vaccinating their priority groups, healthcare workers, healthcare workers in Africa, in South America, in India, Asia, Eastern Europe, and other parts of the world. This is what was discussed today